What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and Next Level Workshops. And for a while now I've been using a program called Evoto AI for all of my retouching. And it's a huge time saver and they've recently added three new features in the latest version uh, that I wanna talk about today. So let's jump in to the program and I've got this photo of my friend Cheryl pulled up. Uh, and I wanna show you those three, three new features. Two of them are gonna be in this portrait retouching tab. First one is gonna be in this eyes drop down. So let's drop that down and let's go ahead and zoom in on her eyes. And you'll see that we have some, you know, some red veining going on, which is really common. It's also a huge pain to retouch in Photoshop. So with this, this makes it a lot easier. All we're gonna do is take this remove red veins slider. We'll go all the way up just so I can show you what it does. But I think if you'd go all the way to one end of the spectrum, it's gonna look a little bit fake. So what I wanna do is I wanna dial this back to you know, 65, 70, and that leaves a little bit of the veins there. It's gonna look a lot more natural, but compared to if I was to try doing that in Photoshop, that saved me a ton of time. So moving on to the next one. All right, so now we have the hair drop down, and this is a feature that a ton of people have been asking for, and they finally added it here, which is going to be remove stray hairs. So let's go ahead and just slide that all the way up. We'll zoom out a little bit and you'll notice that it went ahead and got rid of a ton of the stray hairs. One being this one right here that was kind of by her ear. Uh, and it also reduced some of the, the shininess of the hairs up top. Uh, so right away, it's a lot less distracting, but you'll see that within um, this hairs drop down, we've got uh, two things that say within figure outlines and beyond figure outlines. So if I go ahead and slide this within figure outlines down, that's gonna add back all of these hairs that are kind of over her face, maybe over her clothes. Um, for this one, I actually really wanna get rid of those ones because those tend to be the more distracting ones. And I'm actually gonna bring down this beyond figure outlines, which is gonna be the hair that's kind of extending onto the background. None of that hair is overly distracting for this picture, so I'm gonna leave some of that back in to give this image a more natural look. Um, so just between those two things, that saved me probably 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, depending on how extensive the edit would have been with, you know, eye veins and, and stray hairs. That was just a matter of seconds. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to this clothes accessories touch up, the one that looks like a little t-shirt. And we're gonna slide up this de-wrinkled clothing uh, slider. And we're gonna look at the shoulder here. We see that it kind of went ahead and got rid of some of these wrinkles on on her shirt or her dress rather and we've got two t two sliders that's remove fine wrinkles and remove coarse wrinkles that's going to be uh fine wrinkles are going to be smaller wrinkles coarse wrinkles are going to be uh you know larger wrinkles but one thing i want to show you too is sometimes it might go ahead and try and remove something that is not actually a wrinkle in this case some of this beading it uh, it kind of read that as a wrinkle and you can see that that's not really a wrinkle, but it tried to get rid of it. So what we can do is actually go ahead and this little uh, manual tuning, and we'll make sure that the erase mask is selected. And all we're gonna do is we're going to just kind of erase away any areas that we don't want it to affect. This is another thing that Evoto you know, took from their community and, and, ask, and, and people asking more masking options, which, which gives you a lot more control over this, uh, over this program than, than the previous version. So now I went ahead and slid that. We'll just push OK. And we'll see that now these areas weren't affected by that closed wrinkle. So with those three new features, this makes this program even more powerful than it was. So again, I'm using this for almost all of my retouching, definitely all my headshots. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media, and go check out Evoto. You won't regret it, and I'll see you next time.